<laughs> What's up everyone? This is John of Liquid House. And I'm Ellie. So this, the point of this video, uh, we wanted to include it in the build video, but you know, last minute stuff happened. Uh, the ASUS board came in the week that we needed to do the build. So we just wanted to get the build video done and out. But we also wanted to do in like an afterthoughts video and talk about our build experience with the case being that we, you know, threw everything <laughs> that we could at this build. Um, but we also did see some uh, constructive criticism in the comments, and we also wanted to address that, obviously, because this is a great time to do that. We're talking about the build. Um, choices were made with this layout, and uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. So being that we are well known for doing crazy loops in general, we really did want to do something a little bit different this time. Uh, we did have some time constraints with some hardware coming in last minute. So we obviously had to work with that. Um, but so we did a CPU only loop. We decided just to keep the GPU completely air cooled in order to do something crazy and different though. We used a 120 or BLK system, but a 120 base like prototype system that we have. Yeah. So the the BLK that you could buy right now on our web on our, yeah. on our web store, um, that is a different uh, platform, if you will, for the BLK. Um, it mounts underneath the motherboard. It's on a rail system, but it basically adds uh, anchored uh, pass through fitting location so that you can greater expand your water cooling loop rather than just, you know, keeping it simple. Few right. Tubes, right. Well, it adds a lot of complexity. Yeah. And we've actually used these prototypes twice before. Um, the first time we did was the Intel launch, a uh, project launch with Intel, and that was for their uh, 14th gen release. And uh, that was in the white in, in a white uh, height Y60 with their front uh, corner distro. And that was a lot of fun. We we had a, a crazy uh, tubing. Wrap around tubing. Yeah, and it was anchored essentially by this same BLK bracket. Um, the next one we had done was with Cooler Master and their Cube 500. And that was in one of our HQ builds. And that being said, that BLK orientation on how we had it, we had the tubing in a vertical format. Um, this is horizontal and I think that might be the source of the, the the criticism that we're seeing. The split, the division. Yeah, the split division. And and honestly, I welcome it. You know, the whole point of this is supposed to be subjective. Yeah, this um, all of our builds are subjective. Yeah. And so it's it's yeah. all good that you don't like it. That's totally fine. Yeah. Um, there were times when we were putting it together, it's like it might land in an interesting way. We're not sure. And I'm a very picky person and not one not not one time did I look at this and be like, you know what? People are gonna be I did. You did. Yeah, I yeah. did. And I know and, you did. And I threw a little bit extra, right? Um we included our upcoming on our website, we're gonna have these offset cube tube uh, 60 mil variants that we threw on the front of this prototype BLK. And uh that was most definitely an afterthought. I had originally had the tubing going straight into the other fittings and not with the cube tube uh, offset cube tube in there. Uh, but being that we are just going to have these available on our web store, we wanted to just kind of put them in there, uh, front and center, if you will. Another thing too is with the back, um, you know, we're utilizing our collaboration steel key cube tube, just like the offset cube tube, but we're using a it's what's called our D12. So in the back, it's just a, a 120 based serial distro. And the only real purpose it has is to create more depth to a water cooling loop. Uh, as you can see in this scenario, we just had it loop back onto itself. And you know that was just another way to add some extra tubing to the build. I wanted the tubing like match the, the hue of the case perfectly. perfectly. Yeah, so we wanted to kind of play into that. Yeah, the grill design is is really cool. It's like this organic wave. You can actually take the grill off and show them right now. Yeah, I know. Oh, or show them the back. Yeah. As you can see, we've got this really cool organic uh, wavy grill pattern. And quick snippet behind the scenes thing. The past few builds were, we've done, and we also have a few planned out right now, they're all monochromatic. They're all silver based. That's yeah, like the there's primary. a theme. There's a general yeah, theme there's happening. A, there's a general theme here and they're all <clears throat> silver. And so um, 
with some of those case projects, and you'll see this in the future, but some of these grill designs, we've got some custom grills coming in that are gonna be with these modded builds that match the aesthetic of the case, kind of helps celebrate the design flow and you know the original vision of the case. Right. We don't wanna take anything away from that with our mods, we kind of wanna celebrate that. Um, with this King 95, you know, the, the celebration is that it's the Gear Seekers edition, right? It's the Ultra. But we didn't really have time to create a mod that would emulate the outside grill pattern. So we kind of wanted to try and emulate that wavy idea with the tubing itself. Yeah, within the loop itself. Yeah. yeah. And that was one of the reasons why we chose to do a horizontal uh, tubing layout rather than uh, a, a vertical or what would to kind of be expected with most builds is they're gonna, the tubing is gonna be laid out in a vertical fashion because it, it goes parallel with the rest of the hardware, right? It's just another example of so many ways to do a water cool build. You know, as you're saying, we wanted to do something different with a CPU only loop. You know, we, we didn't have an extra GPU sitting around that we could block. Um, and also we just wanted to utilize a, a Strix 4080. I mean, who wouldn't? Especially it when, does look really good in yeah, there. No, yeah, no, it really does. And, you know, as we were building this, the first thing we thought of was like, oh, this is very much a mid-tower case, yeah, right? Yeah, 100%. And doing a, a, a CPU and GPU only loop in a mid-tower case can and can often be uh, complicated Challenge. and challenging, yeah. 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 And, you know, we'll we'll see it all the time. People are like, well, I'm surprised you didn't get a bigger case if you're gonna water cool everything. Why didn't you get, get get a bigger case, right? So that was one of the reasons why we did a CPU only loop. And you know, we we definitely tried to make up for that by right. adding a bunch extra to it. And we had a lot of fun with it. Um, obviously, some of you guys enjoyed the the build too, but you know, obviously there's gonna be people out there that that aren't fully happy with our with our build. And you know, one one we had one comment saying it wasn't liquid house worthy, but I actually really liked that comment. Yeah, to no, me, yeah, that comment, I, I mean, I don't know what that means, but to <laughs> me, um I know, it's right? like almost a compliment. It's like over the top water cooling and, and we did certainly go over the top. Yeah. I think too much over the top, and you're like, oh, I don't like that. It's, and that's it's too much. Fair, and you that's know? fair. And that's fair. And it's cool that we I'm glad that we're able to kind of get the opportunity to show off the range that we can do with still keeping it to be our style and right. our aesthetic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, you're looking at the front here and you haven't really seen a loop layout like that, no. right? And and that was another thought process we were having when we were doing this. It's like, well, we haven't seen this before, so we should do it. Right. And, uh, you know, with something new and, and not really seen that often, you're gonna have criticism, right? So um, it was kind of to be expected, at least as I was putting the loops final touches together, I was thinking to myself, this might catch some flack. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so funny. And I, I I, think that you and I are polar opposites on that. And that's, cause I even look at it and I'm like smiling. I'm like, I really like this loop. Oh, it's a fun build. Yeah, I like, and I'm, I'm just, I can get picky, especially with things that are- Sure. Yeah. Too wacky crazy, and this is not. That. I mean, it performs well. You know, yeah. we we obviously one thing to do to get the bubbles out of the water, or the, or the fluid, I should say, is you crank up the heat. Uh, once you get this thing really going, it starts pushing the air out, and uh, we got the bubbles out pretty quickly by cinebenching this thing nonstop, <laughs> trying to get the heat going. And you know, the max temp we saw on this 9700X was 80C. I think Which it was actually really like good. 79C, yeah. yeah. It was with the 105 TDP uh, update change on the BIOS. And so we had all uh, all cores sitting at 5.5 for quite a while. They've rarely boosted down. Um, I think the TDP, uh, Hardware Info 64 was saying like 144 watts was the average during all of our runs. So. It was certainly putting out some heat enough to get all the bubbles out just in a few days, and um, and in a day maybe. Yeah, in, in like in like two days, it got yeah. all the bubbles out, and you know, with a max temp of eighty at one hundred and forty four watts sustained, I think that's pretty solid, especially with a very convoluted loop, right? Right. And so, you know, we're really happy with the performance, and now, you know, thinking about it now. Um, we hadn't even slapped on the, the front grill panel to see the differences yet. No, you're right. That's we have still it something just that we kind of need to do. Yeah, yeah, and that was all full glass. Oh my gosh, I wonder if there will be there. I would be curious about the chip. Probably. Yeah. 
We'll cover that in the next housekeeping episode and yeah. see, like just like a little follow up on it. Yeah, I know one one aspect about this is it's a big caveat though, but uh, we actually need to use this CPU in another build coming soon. So we do need to rip the CPU out of this one, but that's just kind of how it goes here with content builds like this. But um, yeah, no, but this was a fun build. You know, uh, ob obviously we did some things different that uh, may not be impressed upon with the right people at the right time, but you know, some things just take time for it to be accepted. Yeah. And, and, you know, we had a lot of fun with the build and we hope you guys enjoy the build for the most part. We do realize that it was something different and maybe not what some of you guys were expecting. And, but you know what? We'll take it as a challenge to utilize this same BLK mounting system and another build. And see what you think at and that point. Yeah, you know. Let's see if we can win you over a little I bit. I would agree that I think it does do better in a vertical layout rather than a horizontal layout. Aesthetically, sure. Yeah, um, but being that we were rocking at it from the top radiator, uh, it was just easier to set up in a horizontal fashion. But, you know, I think that was the, the real issue here was with that horizontal uh, BLK prototype. But, you know, that's, that's a, another reason to do something differently in the future. Yeah. Know? So no, we'll, we will do it. We'll win you over and <laughs> and it will all be good. Yeah, no, this, this, this was a fun build. And, um, you know, it, it's it's fun just talking about it. Right. We we did a lot of fun, different things with this one. And should we do this more often? Should we talk about builds more often? Yeah, we would love to, I mean... Like, that, is this something that you guys want us to do? Talk about the build that we did? I would love to talk about builds that we have only posted on Instagram. You right. know, like, for instance, real quick, a lot of you guys don't know what our D12 is in the back, the, the round circle distro thing in the back. We, and, and this is something that we often think of, uh, forget about, but uh, our following on Instagram can sometimes be very disconnected from our following on YouTube. And... Yeah, They're, it doesn't always follow over. Or yeah, transfer so over. a lot of our community on Instagram, they know exactly what our D12s is. You know, it's available on our web store. We sell them quite often. Um, it is just a product to help create more depth on uh, in a build. We've had other modders uh, include them in builds as well in the past. And uh, they're a lot of fun, honestly. And that's another thing that we didn't really think about. It's like, oh, how certain parts are gonna land with, with certain communities, right? Based on our following. And um, so we'll absolutely do a video in the future detailing some of these collaboration products that we've yeah. done with SteelKey so that our YouTube community has a better sense of what these products are versus kind of coming out of nowhere saying, like, oh, look at this hell? and this and this. And they're like, what is this? Right. this before? Yeah. Instagram, our Instagram community has seen it a bunch of times in the past. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that'll be something that we can definitely talk about more in the future as For well. Sure. So, um, but yeah, no, we're just going to keep this video short and simple and, uh, hope you guys enjoy the build. Thank you. Thanks again for, for watching the build video. If you guys can, can like this one and the build video, throw, throw a comment or something, shoot us a subscription. That'd be great. We'd follow us on Instagram it. as well. If you're not yeah, already, please check out our Instagram. You know, yeah. you guys have better context of kind of what we're up to in a daily sense rather than, you know, obviously we're trying to ramp up our YouTube content. So uh, there's going to be a, a slight schism between the two, but uh, we're trying to bring them in together. Yeah. So uh, without further ado, we'll, Thank you. Uh, we'll see you on the next one, you guys. Take care. Take care.